Okay, so we're not going to waste any time. We want you up and running as quickly as possible. So we're going to just dive in. The very first step is to go to business.google.com. Okay, and depending on whether you've ever set up your Google My Business account before or somebody has set it up for you or whatever, you might see something different. If you're not logged into Google already, um, then of course it'll prompt you. But otherwise, most of you should probably see something like this. Um, and then all you want to do is manage your business. So the first screen you're going to see is this one here and it's going to ask you for your business name. So you're going to start typing your name in and let's pretend my business is called ABCs of social media. So as I'm typing it in, see the options that come out below and basically what Google is doing is just verifying that your business isn't already on Google business um, or doesn't or isn't already on Google Maps because what happens is sometimes people can create accounts for business names. Um, so you might already be on there and if you are all you need to do is claim your business if you aren't already managing it so um, but chances are if you've got a brand new business chances are it won't be on here okay so it says create a business with this name because it's not already existing in Google Maps so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click this your business category is one of if not the most important thing that is going to help you rank. So you definitely want to get this right. So what you're going to do is add in the business category that you discovered on the lesson on business categories. And so I'm going to go ahead and just pretend that my category is internet marketing. So you add that in and then go ahead and click next. On this screen, if you have a location that customers can come in and visit you at or you could service them at, go ahead and click yes. Otherwise, if you're a service-based business that goes out to your client or customer sites, then go ahead and choose no. And it says, where do you serve customers? So as we went over earlier, this is called your service area. For now, enter the city you're in. So let me just put in Toronto, Ontario. Now what you want to remember about service area is this is all about local SEO. So what you're going to do is only go out about a two hour drive from your location. So I live near Toronto. So what I'm going to do is put down Toronto and then I'm going to list some cities that are around Toronto, like Etobicoke and Mississauga and Woodbridge and you know, off to the east, like even Whitby and Pickering and all of those areas, because um, those are all within a two hour, if I was like right in Toronto, those are about a two hour drive within Toronto. So that way I could say I service all of those areas. Now, this isn't necessarily a ranking factor, but this is good for customers to know as to what areas you are willing to travel to in order to offer service. And again, um, yes, you can do things remotely, but this again is all for local SEO and Google just wants to know where realistically you can assist customers. So I'm just going to go ahead and just keep Toronto there for now. And then I'm going to come back later and add a few more cities uh, that are around Toronto. So the rest of the information is pretty basic. So what you're going to do is choose your country, choose your phone number, enter that in here, and then you're going to enter your website. And then you're going to click next. Okay. And would you like alerts and notifications? Yes, definitely. Um, cause one of the notification types that Google will send out is notifying you and asking you, for example, if there's a holiday, it'll ask you what your holiday hours are and remind you to go and update that on your profile. Okay. And here is where you're going to enter the address that you want Google to mail you postcard at. And see, it says right here that your address will be hidden from the public and this is just for Google's use. Okay, so enter your country, enter your street address. Okay, and then when you're done, you're just gonna click next. Okay, so I haven't seen this before, this is new. Um, because basically what usually happens as I mentioned earlier is Google will gather your information then send you a postcard with a verification code, which you will then come back to your Google business profile and enter that number. Um, but it didn't do so in this case, and it might not on yours. So essentially, uh, as I mentioned, sometimes these things change based on location, based on your information. So you're just gonna have to go with it. So if at this point it asks you for a verification 
code to be entered in. It might give you the option of entering it by phone or by taking images to prove that you're the business owner. That's what you might get. Or you might see something like this where you could go ahead and be verified right away. And essentially, if you're verified right away, it means that it will show your listing right away, which means you could go ahead and immediately complete your profile. So what we're going to do is stop here because some people might be waiting for that verification code. Okay, so if you actually get to a screen like I did where it says next. So go ahead, click that next button and fill out your basic information. But we're going to fill things out in more detail in upcoming lessons.